The world of Amonkhet is our oyster once more. After disappointment in the last match, last draft where our green-blue deck failed rather miserably, and disappointment awaited. We're going to start by drafting a green-blue deck again. Is it, what is madness if not learning from your mistakes? Uh, seriously, obviously Nissa here. Nothing to talk about. I do like the Eternal of Harsh Truths, but I ain't never passing no Nissa. I don't care what they say. Such a clear first pick. It's not quite mirrored with pick number two. We have some very strong cards in here. Open Fire, Tarcrop Elite. Um, they're probably, and Bone Picker, probably top tier with Cartouche, Splendid Agony, uh, Nefcrop bringing up the second triage? Second, second row. Second row of cards. I think I'm going to take the Bone Picker. At this stage, you just want to pick the best card, surely, and... Uh, You'll you'll find splashing Nissa in any green based deck. I'm always very happy playing green black. But it's between Bone Picker and Open Fire, and I'll just go for Bone Picker out of personal preference. And I'll be rewarded with a Gust Walker, which I'm probably gonna take because that's what magic is winning. Alternatively I could take a greater sandworm. I I mean maybe I'd just take the greater sandworm and I wouldn't say a discipline pick, because a discipline pick is certainly a gust walker here. It's just, it's just a bit boring, isn't it? We saw the white red draft I did where I won in about 12 minutes, and even when I won, I felt a degree of sadness about, oh, I guess I win with a Gus Walker. I'm going to take the Sandworm. It'll be fun. We'll have a great time. Oh, it's worked out well with a Lord of the Accursed, I think. Hmm. Excuse me while I eat a bit of, uh, a bit of chicken. I think Lord of the Accursed. It's worked out rather well. Lord of the Accursed is a good pick up here. It's more of a black white card, obviously, but it's a fantastic black white card. I think it's got great upside in Soul Stinger. Uh, I'd rather have that than any of the other good cards. Here, the Vizier, Scavenger, or the Even Initiates. Let's just carry on taking the best card and hope for the best. Well, that's working out all right so far. A lovely Vizier of Tumbling Sands is what we'll go for here. Uh, again, I'm just taking the best card, seeing what happens. Stalwart and Naga are in that order, are decent, but a Vizier of Tumbling Sands is an excellent pickup. Second Greater Sandworm, I'm feeling a bit better about the Gust Walker uh, pass now, seeing as we're not really getting hooked up in white. I mean, Mind Sense is fine and all, but I'd rather take Second Sandworm and remain alive for a strong cycling deck. As I was saying about the white cards, it's not <laughs> nice to be so thoroughly uh, rebuffed. I will take the Feral Prowler though. And I finally, finally get my hands on a Doom Dissenter. It's been a while. One of my favourite cards in the format. I loved it in uh, Dragons of Tarkir, was it? Where you had the equivalent card. No, it's Fate Reforged. I love it here. I mean, Tarkrop Elite's obviously the best card, but we're not going to talk about the white deck, because it would just hurt. Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs is a fine two drop. More into that than a big seven drop, we've already got some. So let's take the wall and hopefully pick up some deserts, as long as people aren't valuing them as highly as they should be now. I believe if you pass six Tarkrop Elites in a row, you win. Uh, so we're close to that. Let's take the Winds of Rebuke. I'm a big fan of uh, Wind Rebuke, it's a nice little card. Probably not going to play it, but I say big fan of it, um, it's alright. Same with Unburden. It usually doesn't make the cut, but rather than something else, let's take a black. Mm, we're more likely to play black, I think. So let's take a black cycler, festering mommy, and the anointer priest. So as we get an Earth Shaker Kenra here, we're looking at our deck so far, working out whether we're going to be green and black, green blue, or a variation of all three. If so, we'll probably start to need picking up some Oasis Ritualists. For this pick, I think I'm going to take the Exemplar of Strength. I'm usually a fan of creatures over spells at this early... Well, I say if... I wish I mean if, if they're comparable in quality, I'd rather have the threat than the answer. Not that Supreme Will is a perfect answer. It's a perfectly good blue card. I still like our green more than our blue. We're more likely to be gr base green than base blue, so let's say the Exemplar of Strength. Oh, this is a good pack. I th there's a lot for us here. 
my instinct to take the trial of ambition, but I'm not sure that actually works out too well. I, I'm just uh, trained to know that the, the trials are good, although this one's not particularly strong comparatively. We could just take the Dread Wanderer, but we're probably not going to be that aggressive mommy-based deck, or whatever it's called, zombie-based deck. Instead, we're looking more of a green mid rangey thing. I'm probably going to take the Naga Vitalist here. Maybe it's a mistake passing the Trial of Ambition. I just know I want a Naga Vitalist, and there's a world where we don't play the Trial. Well, the Mommy deck could have got their parts with the Wayward Servant, but I'm delighted to take a second Exemplar of Strength here. It's a very nice card. Some decent things to wheel, Supernatural Stamina and the Desert, which I presume won't. Failing that, we could get the Splendid Agony or the Kudo, but the Exemplar of Strength is too strong to pass up here. Some great red cards on offer, but for us, I think we're just going to take another Sandworm. Nothing wrong with having a, a surplus of these in your deck, given that they quite easily cycle away should you need to. And I think we're installing ourselves here as a cycling base threat deck, whatever that is. So we'll start getting rid of the cards we shall not be seeing. As we take a spring to mind here, I think we were a bit too heavy ramp on our last ramp deck. This isn't a ramp deck at all, it's more of a value deck, and I think one spring to mind works lovely there, over the first Avon Initiate. Lord of the Accursed is interesting, but we're likely not playing the first, as we're not going down the zombie route. I think I'm going to take Ronus' stalwart over the desert. It just There's a chance we're playing quite an, like we could have quite an aggressive draw here with two exemplars, and stalwart's always a good card. Let's put it in. Bit of a miss here. I suppose Fanbearer is the strongest card. I'm probably just going to take Gate to the Afterlight on the off chance we managed to pick up the combo. Which I doubt we will, but I have no desire to play any of these other cards. Hooded Brawler, as fans of the channel will know, is a fantastic card and one of my faves. Oh, I do like an appeal to authority. Is there any way we can... Mm, we've got the Vitalist, but we kind of need to play Appeal and Authority on the same turn. I mean, it's not perfect here either. Let's just get the Supernatural Stamina. It's always nice to have one of those. At the moment, I'm getting rid of Winds of Rebuke. And we're looking to be green-black, I think. Well, whichever we are, we're going to be playing Soul Stinger. Nice little pickup. We've got a lot going on early game, so we kind of need a... Um, so one of these days, I'm going to learn how to use this. There we go. We have a lot going on early game, so we're looking for something a bit later on. As the Ornery Kudo does come back, so does the Wayward Servant. Obviously we're miles away from that, despite potentially... We could have had a decent white-black zombies deck. Let's go for the Kudo. I feel it got worse with the... Removal of that 3 mana 3 2 Vigilance in Balm, which I only just realised had gone this draft. Whatever card that was, the. It was um, such a good white filler. I suppose white was a bit good anyway, so it's probably not the end of the world. They nerfed it as we take something. Pitless Vizier is actually not bad in this deck, and Haze of Pollen is not good in any deck. Ooh, glorious end. Yep, obviously not the pick. The pick is going to be Hooded Brawler, I think. We somehow turn into just a, a very mid rangey deck. Hooded Brawler's a great card. Two of them's fantastic to have. A Stort's aggressive. Two exemplars of strength can be incredibly aggressive. Either as a two drop on the play or putting something on Doom Dissenter, a kind of trickery or Feral Prowler. Let's just go for Hooded Brawler and be happy to do so. I think we're going to take the Ruthless Sniper here. We really have picked up a lot of cycling. I'll just check that. I've been known to make mistakes before. Uh, yeah, we're kind of... I'm a bit... Well, I'm a bit... My mind is a bit made up, not made up, but tainted a little by the Greater Sandworms. I think we're still going to take it over the... Probably over the Evolving Wilds here, despite my, despite my wanting one of those. I just think cycling, um, it's a very strong card. I've got time to pick up more cyclists, and we can always play some Wonder and Deaths, which I hope we do pick up all the Scarab Feasts if we need. 
Nothing for us here. Kind of a shitty pack. I guess we'll take the... I don't even know what we'll take. Blighted Bat could end up playing it. Hope we don't. 16th Gust Walker gets passed to us and we cry as it goes. I think we will take Destiny to lead us. Very solid combat trick and has a bit of upside as well on the other side. I'd love to pick up a Horror of the Broken Land here, but I'm confident one of these cyclers will definitely wheel. I just think we're a bit low on actual interaction here. We've got none of the good black removal. And none of the green removal for that matter, so we kind of need something to do if the opponent like, plays cards. As is their want. I think I'm going to take the Wasp over the Vizier here. The Vizier's probably not getting played as is. Oh, I think we're sp using the blue for the backside of mind and for Nyssa. So I'm going to take the aggressive 2-drop. <clears throat> as another compulsory rest goes past, and I feel even worse for not drafting white, we do at least get a Wonder in Death, which is a card I'm a huge fan of, especially when you start cycling 7 drops. I'm delighted to pick this up. So delighted I'll pick up a second one. Happy to play both of them. They're not going to be playing the wall here. Oh, curse you. We'll take the desert here, albeit a late one. But, well, I'll play as many deserts as I can get my hand on. Everyone else seems to be of that opinion too, which I presume is correct. So we're looking like quite an aggressive deck here, with a top end of Sandworm and Nyssa to win the long game, but mainly hoping for a bit of beat down with the twos and threes. We'll take the Prowler here. And again, it's not an aggressive card, but it does work well with our minus one, minus one. Uh, let's take the Scorpion for the purpose of cycling, and let's just start taking other cards now. So is this deck good? I mm, won't get that far. It's a perfectly functional deck. I feel we're a, we're a few strong cards short of a seven winner. Should get four, I imagine. That kind of thing. We'll build it. Now, it probably won't take too long if we cut all the lands. So we're going to be playing 17 lands here. We can probably get rid of the, maybe not the Vizier, maybe the Scorpion. No, certainly one Unburden. Two more cuts. Happy with the Wasps. I'm happy with the Feral Prowlers and the Stalwart. We can probably cut a Kudo. I always, I always cut the Kudo. It's always cuttable. And it works so well with the, the Center and the Sniper. Maybe I'll keep it in this one time. Maybe it's the Vizier. Just a, a slow card. Very happy to play two wonder and deaths. Don't want to get rid of the stamina. Ooh, this is quite a difficult one actually. Maybe it's one of the wonder and deaths. Then are we a bit weak on the sniper? We are a little. Maybe it's the sniper. Yeah, maybe it is. Okay. I know that sounds a bit counterintuitive, but. Yeah, let's go with this. We haven't got too much minus one, minus one synergy on their creatures. We have on our own. Well, a little bit. We have good creatures to put it on. Let's check what they suggest for lands, then counteract it. So, two blue. I'd say I want eight green. Maybe no. I do detest that. I think one more black. Yeah. Well, have we got a 7 win deck? I'd be surprised. Hopefully we can make our gem money back. I fear we may be too slow. And aside from the sandworm, lack the huge endgame blast. But hope springs eternal. Let's see what we can do. Well, we open with a very nice keep. Nothing uh, truly busted, but uh, enough to be going on with. And gets down the Kenner Eternal, which means we will take an unfortunate one this turn. I'd rather play, <clears throat> excuse me, I'd rather play the Prowler than the Vitalist. I was about to say, in case I draw one of these exemplars of strength, which I'm very happy to have drawn, I'm very happy to play.
But my opponent's equally happy to not counter it. And he bloody is. Alright, let's see how my 2 mana 4 4 goes. And it's consigning this. Um, I guess that works. Not the worst trade ever. Burn it in for two, plays a land, and plays a bone picker. Which is an example of a card the deck is not good enough to kill. On the upside, though, we do get two exemplar of strengths here. So the life loss can be mitigated. Hopefully the opponent fires off consign here. Oh, but he's got Vizier of many faces. We're fucked. That being said, that is a good draw. I think we're just going to cast it. Yeah, we got his land, excellent. Right, well, in we get. I can't see this working out long term, but we are going to be able to supernatural stamina this, gain a couple of life, win the combat. <clears throat> ah, good, he drew unquenchable thirst. My my ear ing is because I'm going to have to play a land here and just attack for two. I'm probably I don't think I can right, I just can't afford to play the sandworm here because then I'm dead, so I'm gonna have to cycle it. Oh well that didn't work out well. Play the vitalist. And hope for a bit of a miracle. My cards go down swanny. So we need to kill one of these. And we can't do it. So the disappointment in draft continues. As we lose to Madverick, who had cards we couldn't interact with. A shame. Match two. And despite us having a good start last time, we lost to a well to two bone pickers. And we were quite kind of a, a dis I would say a, not a disappointing loss, more of a a, an easy loss. I don't think our opponent broke sweat, which leads lends further credence to my belief this deck just isn't that good, which is a shame. Um, because maybe we should just go back to the white base decks. I mean, it was clearly would have ended up better for us here. That being said, we have a strong start at this particular game, so we could be making a comeback, especially if we went first, which is very fortunate. Game for two here. Play Mr. Brawler. Hope it doesn't get Essence Scattered. Oh, Stinging Shot, right. That is much better than being Essence Scattered. We could potentially get him for 10 next turn. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Well, with Wonder and Death, I'm... Uh, I'm just going to attack with both. Non-exerted. I think he's going to block the brawler as this. No, he didn't. Right, so he's presumably got some sort of fight spell, is my, my tell here. Let's get ready for a good soul stinger next turn on the Doom Descenter. I presume 4 2 is going to fight the Rona Stalwart here. And yep, me reads good. This turn I'm happy to get in with the brawler as the uh, for 5. I'm also not too unhappy with getting things in the graveyard because of the Wonder and Death. I'm also going to get him with the Dissenter, I just don't think he's going to block. I think he'll block the Brawler. Oh right, <laughs> well there goes that plan. He did take 5 however. And I think with that in mind we're just going to put the Soul Stinger counters on the Soul Stinger. A bit of a shitter there, I'll be honest with you, but I'm very surprised he blocked the 1 from the Dissenter. Opponent plays the Trial of Strength, we know he has. Uh, Wasp at the Bitter End is not bad at all. So I presume we're going to get him for two here. Play Wonder and Death and Wasp at the Bitter End here. 
I assume opponent blocks the 4-2. Just take it. Having painful white mana might come into play here. Yeah, it looks like he's making the block. Oh no. Right. Well, I'm certainly happy to kill that. Wondering Death, getting back Soul Stinger and Vronis Stalwart. And playing a Flyer. <clears throat> Opponents hit the land. It is a tap land there, which is good for us. Naga Oracle, fine with that. So we'll get in for two here. I presume the Brawl will be blocked by the 4 2. No point attacking with this because it will just get eaten by the Oracle. I would love a supernatural stamina here. I think that will be the best draw in the deck right now. Or maybe a blue land to get a big Nissa up. Troll Prowl is not that draw. I suppose it works well with Soul Stinger coming up. So let's go for the play we talked about. going to double block? Nope. Probably would have killed the Oracle. And let's play 2-2 two, two and 1-3. Ronus' Monument. I'm absolutely delighted to see that here. And now we need to work out how to play this. So if we get in with everything, we put him to three and we lose. We lose the stalwart. Probably not worth it. We could just soul stinger down the feral prowler. Likely to play. Opponent has his own feral prowler. Has his own vizier of tumbling sands. If he attacks with this, I'm throwing the prowler in front of it. Supernatural stamina, that should win the game. And indeed it will. No point attacking anything else, right? Um, I guess I'll attack with this anyway. On the off chance he's got something to deal with the wasp. We're going for it. With success. Average deck wins game. Hello. Round three of this distinctly average Amonkhet deck commences with a, well, with a keep. Not an exciting keep, but <coughs> I hate mulliganing. No, this is fine. We've got a trick. We've got two cyclers. Everything's looking fine. I'll cycle the Greatest Sandworm first, given that we have a Wonder and Death to get it back should we need to. Failing that, I'll play a bloody Doom Dissenter and be blooming delighted. I don't know why I love this card so much. I just do. Anointer Priest. Well, um, not, not really much to do, is there? So I guess we'll cycle now in case we a desert. I think I'm going to go with the Greater Sandworm still. We're miles away from it. Oh, there we go. That's what I want to see, gentlemen and lady. Sun Scourge Champion, game two. And off we go. Off to the races. Right, I'm not going to make the mistake of attacking this time. I say it's a mistake, but I, I think I did in the last game and regretted it. Instead, we're going to make a 2-mana 4-4 four, four and be blooming delighted. I've also got nice wonder and death targets now. Let's hope compulsory rest is not in our future. Compulsory rest is in our future. I 
think I'm going to go for Destin. But I'm going to go for it now before combat in case he's got impeccable timing. I can't remember if it's in the set, but it could, could well be. Sun's Coast Champion of the Graves, good for him, but life goes on. So it's Wonder in Death, two things, uh, as is the case when you wonder in death. Ooh, do I want to... I think I'd... No, I think I'd rather... Oh, I don't know this is a difficult one, because I could... Sack and get these two back. Yeah, I think I will, actually. Hmm... Yeah, let's go for it. I'm probably going to spend next turn doing that Cycle Sandworm, Wonder and Death, maybe, no, it doesn't, it doesn't quite work, does it? I was hoping to play the Descent and play another Exemplar. I certainly want the Sandworm on the battlefield here, it's probably my best chance of victory, his opponent milled two decent cards, so one presumes his draw is rather, rather healthy. There's the blue land. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again. Let's just play Exemplar of Strength as a... As a 1-1. One, one. A bit of me hopes it gets countered. Well, quite a lot of me, actually, because I've got one of the Wonder in Death. He knows I've got the Greater Sandworm. And no attack. Vizier of Deferment. Supreme Will, okay. So you could have counted it. Probably right to play it like this. Please excuse my eating while we're doing this. It's difficult to fit everything in sometimes. Three life. Plays the land and passes. Right, here comes a sandworm. And we pass the turn. I see the sandworm living, but an unquenchable thirst. So we just need a way to sack it now. There's a land. What have we got? We've got the Doom Dissenter in the graveyard. Let's guess let's play. Well, I guess let's attack with these two first. Four mana, yeah, so opponent's got something. But I'm absolutely fine to uh, find out what it is. It's start, okay. I'm fine with that. It's not great for us, but it's not a disaster by any stretch of the imagination. Like I said, I'm fine having this die. Given my wonder and death. It's going to be a while before we can get the sandworm sacrificed in the graveyard, so I think I'll just target these two and then play them both out. And I may as well just use the Exemplar of Strength to put it on the Sandworm now. And we can Doom Dissenter down the... Oh, interesting. Doom Dissenter down with a Kudo. And then hopefully get in a big lead next turn. I suppose he does have the instant speed kill spell. It's not, it's a sorcery speed that's presumably going to be using the exemplar of strength here. Indeed it is. And if we're not getting for four, I presume, no, just three. Unfortunate draw. <clears throat> Kudo. No, I think we'll just make the sandworm smaller. Pass the turn. Champion comes back, discarding presumably a land. Everyone wins whose name's not me. We keep up our land drawing. We're going to want to keep playing them, so we've got some big things in the deck, and we've got a big Nissa that could come out. Nice, oh, Scarab God. 
I'm going to see the game. <laughs> see you in the next round. <laughs> Plays first in our 1-2 match. We have, have a very nice little hand here. Probably the strongest one we've had. We playing at Smiley. I presume my last opponent was Smiley when we played the Scarab God. I'd like to think I've managed to concede with that on the stack. Such was my uh, refusal to play against it. I guess we're going to go Fell Prowler into Nissa here, which is not a bad opening play at all. Slightly changed by the Ronus' Stalwart. Seeker of Insight. Okay. <clears throat> kind of wish I'd played the Feral Prowler now. But opponent's low on lands. I'm just going to play with Nissa and Scry, I think. There's no point playing a 3 mana 2 3 here. I'm going to. I'd rather just get in for damage. This is annoying enough when it comes out that he's going to have to start putting all his efforts into it. And he's only got 2 mana and a 1 3. Ooh, land. If a brawler can go. Sorry, brawler can stay, descender can go. And does hit the land. He's not going to be able to use the tap, I imagine, for looting purposes, even if he does cast some like strategic planning. He's probably going to have to get in on Nyssa. I realise I could have left the hooded uh, Boom to Centre on top and just played the Nyssa zero. I think I'd rather tap get this up though. Scry with Nyssa first. Exemplar of Strength and Forest. Hit that order and then we can choose to play Exemplar next turn. And I'm happy just playing a Hooded Brawler here. Saying go, if he's got a Count Spell, Count as my Hooded Brawler. I will live. Absolutely fine. Didn't get the loot value because of the Nissa. Cartouche of Knowledge. Okay, that changes things a little. He draws his second colour, which is good for him. I still feel we're in a fantastic position. We're going to just be scrying. I think we can stop drawing lands at this stage. Even though we have a sandworm in, and maybe we don't want to. Maybe we want to. No, we can do a bit better. Uh, Exemplar is a fine draw. As we're going to be playing, I guess we'll play. Uh, we have to play in this order. Kudo onto Prowler. And the, the Exemplar can come and kill the Prowler, draw as a card. Opponent's slowly getting out his mana screw, but we're still substantially ahead here. Whilst that looks bad on the surface, opponent spending that much time, energy, resources, losing that many loots to kill a Nyssa is fantastic for us. We're going to Exemplar of Strength pre-combat on the Prowler. Draw the card and probably wonder in death the two things. Maybe just play the Prowler though. Because he can't... Well, the Brawler's a bit of a beater. Hmm. No, I think I'll play the Prowler. Opponent thinks long and hard about his next step. It turns out to be a Magma Roth. We draw Wasp of the Bitter End, which I'm happy to do so. Yeah, presumably we're stuck a little bit here in defence mode. 
I think Slaking the Sandworm's good here, given we've got a Wandering Death. Keen to hit my lands to play it eventually. Ah. A Wasp of the Bitter End and pass the turn. Magmaroth getting smaller. Opponent does nothing, which isn't in any way suspicious. I think we'll just play a land, cast Wonder and Death. Get Prowler, Sandworm, see what happens. Cool. Play Hooded Brawler. And just happily pass the turn here. Can't see any good coming from attacking into five spells, five over mana, and a Magma Roth. I was about to say we can exert the brawler next turn, but our opponent preempted that. <clears throat> he finally gets a loot off with the seeker. But our Magmaroth, uh, our Magmaroth board, right now we've got a ch chance of getting a hit. I'm still loath to do so. Given one spell just means he crushes us. It's not as if we've got a big attack anyway. Game plan, surely just draw, just play the two sandworms. I said the longer it goes on, the better it is for us, given Magmaroth is going to get smaller and smaller. So there's no need to get hasty. Uh, Wasp of the Bitter End goes down, opponent can loot, and we are again glad we didn't attack. Opponent doesn't loot, interesting. Nimble Blade Kenra. Play around sensor and smash down a sandworm. I'd say opponent probably, I was gonna say opponent can probably counter the first one. I would doubt the second one will meet that fate. So he kind of needs an unquenchable first. Winds of rebuke here. Otherwise, we're probably gonna run him over with this. We can get in an attack with the exemplar of strength next turn as well. Fell prowlers gummy up the ground nicely to prevent him from getting in. Seem worthy. Is that seven damage? Ah, well, you got in the hit. We can attack though now with our exemplar of strength, and we've got the greater sandworm as well. Hmm. Does that change things? Does that make magma spray something I want to get around? I kind of think it does a little bit we just we don't need to open ourselves up to a blowout here given that we've got such big things facing him down and he's going to have to if he's got magma spray he's going to have to play it pretty swiftly so that the magma roth can block his greater sandworm as soon as it will be unable to do so crash through okay I must say, opponents come back very nicely from the early position he found himself in, or she. Seeker of Insight, a second one. And pass the turn. Well, Wandering Death's probably just the end of the game now. Do I have three of them? Well, I hope I do. What a great card it is. We are just going to get him with a 7-7, seven, because seven, he's got all that mana up. I imagine our opponent will take seven here. Ah, he did have the Magma Spray. 
Now, unfortunately, this means, well, it means he has to block with the Magmaroth, but it means he will be killing this in an exile manner. So we won't be getting that back. But Hooded Brawler comes through here quite nicely. And let's get, so let's get Greater Sandworm and the Hooded Brawler back. I think we can, nope, I'm wrong. I was going to say, I think we can play Sandworm. We cannot, we can play Hooded Brawler. And now we're in a very commanding position. Burn and gets to loot. Oh, Hooded Brawler's never a bad draw at any point of the game. In we go for four. Three, this uh, at this point, there's no. Uh, we finally got ourselves a nice opening. There's no point holding back. He may have a removal spell. He may have something. Magma spray. Sure, his opponent's got a very nice deck, I must say. He does mean he gets a good block here on the ornery kudo. All the seek, no, not the secret insight. Sorry, all the we're in a stalwart. So he's probably going to double block the. If I was him, I'd double block the strength with these two and double block the kudo with those two. I wouldn't say it's the optimal block. Yeah, I'd say he's got it the wrong way around there, but hey ho, I think I'm gonna kill the one through I'm gonna kill the looter. Assuming he's got nothing in both scenarios. Lovely. Play the land, get the Sandworm down. Doesn't play against Supreme Will, but hey ho, he's only got one card in hand. Opponent plays the land, things are looking good for us. He needs something. Well, I say that'll do it. It'll chump the. Let's see if we can draw the win this turn. Supernatural stamina doesn't really change anything. So this block's here. Let's get in for seven. We may as well attack with the prowler. Not that it's gonna work. I just imagine we'll be supernatural staminaing Kenra maybe. Yeah. Is there any point? The answer is no. I'd rather keep it for the sandworm. Let's play the hooded brawler and get a long-winded but nonetheless vital victory to go to two wins. Excellent. See you in the next round. 2-2 two, two in this mammoth session will keep a hand without green mana. Uh, so, something to do with the fact that I may, may have mis, mis, uh, mislooked or whatever that is. It's okay, we can cycle a wonder in death if need be. I think need be. Hopefully find ourselves a green and go from there. This opponent hopefully plays... Oh, fantastic. Um, I think that cost terrible. I'm delighted to see it here. Oh, that's uh, it's kind of annoying, but hope if the opponent's playing Trespasser's Curse, I don't mind playing a bit slowly. Hecama Sentinels. There's that. Let's get down the Soul Stinger. Next turn, we'll probably go Feral Prowler into Ornery Kudo. Avon Initiate. Okie dokie. Change of plan. This turn we will play Feral Prowler into Hooded Brawler, I think. We need the extra extra bash, do we? Or do we just need... Hmm. Nah, maybe we're not. I think I'm happy with this plan. Could do it on the Soul Stinger, get in for one. Yeah, I think I will, actually. I'm not going to get blocked. I hope I do, but uh, he'll just take one here, so we've got a little thumper for the rest of the game. Uh, opponent playing flyers is pretty bad news for us. Bad news bears. Let's go for the attack here. I think we're going to be losing, unfortunately, dear friends. As we spring. I think we'll need another green. 
because we drew this and play hooded brawler. So the lack of interaction really holds us back here. It, again, it's not the greatest deck. It's probably a shitty deck, if in complete truth. Oh, opponent leaving us with not much opportunity apart from casting mind here. Prowler and Vitalist, neither of which we can cast. I guess we attack for this many. Oh, did I, I meant to exert it. I don't think it'll matter too much, because I think we're just dead as a doddo. Final reward on the kudo is odd. I don't think you need to do that here. But we are beyond super dead. Lost, embarrassingly, made a fool of ourselves. We look like a complete nipple. The Labyrinth Guardian comes down. I think when your deck can't beat a 3-2 flyer, it's time to reevaluate your magical career, and I shall end it like that. Dear friends, I'm sorry I let you all down. I let myself down, in truth. So let's hope that the letting down ends soon. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll be less shit soon. Thanks very much for watching. Like and subscribe and other stuff. Ta-da!